Hey everybody, in this video we're going to create a quiz game using C++. Let's begin by creating an array of questions. These will be of the string data type. I will name this array questions. And then let's think of some questions. Really add any questions that you want. Here's a few that come to mind for me. What year was C++ created? Okay, that is the first question. I'll add an additional string. Question two. Who invented C++? Third question. What is the predecessor of C++? And I couldn't think of a fourth question, so I'm going to ask, is the Earth flat? Good enough. With each question, there will be four corresponding options. I think a two-dimensional array would be perfect for this. This will be a two-dimensional array of strings named options. We'll need to set the number of columns. Four columns is good. This first array will be for the options for the first question. A will be 1969. B, 1975. C, 1985. 1985 is the correct answer. D, 1989. Now we have our next array. Who invented C++? Guido Van Rossum. He's the creator of Python, so that's not the correct answer. Bjarn Stro Strip. I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name, dude. Hopefully you're not watching right now. Uh, B is the correct answer in this case. C. John Carmack. D. Mark Zuckerberg. We're on question three. What is the predecessor of C++? The correct answer is C. That would be option A. C++. Plus. C minus minus. Or B++. Plus plus. Okay, last question. Is the Earth flat? Yes. No. Sometimes. What's Earth? All right, then I just need to surround all of these arrays with another set of curly braces. And there is our two-dimensional array named options to hold all of the options for our questions. We'll need to create an answer key next. This will be an array of characters. Answer key array equals, here are the correct answers. C, B, A, then B. 1985, Bjarn Strohstrup, C, the language C that is, and no, the earth is not flat. I looked it up on Wikipedia just now. Let's calculate the size of our questions. How many questions do we have? Int size equals the size of our array of questions divided by the size of one of the elements. Questions at index zero. We'll create a character to hold our guess. Int score to hold the score. Now we'll need to iterate over our questions. For, let me move down here. Int i equals zero. We'll continue this as long as i is less than the size of our array, the size of questions. This would effectively be the amount of questions that we have. 
then I'm going to increment i by 1. We will iterate once through all of the questions we have. Standard output. Let's access the string that's within questions at index i. I'll add a new line. Just for some text decoration, I'm going to add a bunch of asterisks before and after the question. Uh, so let's get rid of this. I think that'll look pretty cool. There we go. Then we'll need to iterate over our 2D array. We'll use an inner for loop for that. We'll need a different index. I is already taken. Let's pick j, int j equals 0. We'll continue this as long as j is less than. Now we'll need to calculate how many elements are within each array. So we can do that with size of our options array at index of i divided by the size of options, and there's two indices here, i then 0 then we will increment j by 1 we will display our options standard output options there's two indices i then j i'll add a new line so if i were to run this this should display all of the questions and all of the options yeah here we are what year was C++ created? Who invented C++? What is the predecessor of C++? Is the Earth flat? After all of the options are laid out, we will accept some user input. Standard input. We will place the user's input within guess. Then just in case the user types in something that's lowercase, like a lowercase c, we're looking for capital C. So let's take the user's guess, then make it uppercase. Guess equals to upper pass in guess. So that will capitalize the character the user enters in. Then let's check to see if the user's guess is equal to the answer. We'll need to access the answer key at index of i. That's the current numbered question. If those two values are the same, we will display correct. I'll add a new line, then increment the user score, score plus plus, else the user's guess is not correct. Standard output, wrong. Then we will display the correct answer. Standard output, answer, colon, space. We'll access the answer key at index of i. Then I'll add a new line. Okay, let's try this so far. What year was C++ created? C, who invented C++, that would be B. What is the predecessor of C++? That is C, the language C, but it's option A. Is the Earth flat? What's Earth? D. Okay, wrong, answer B. Okay, so we know that we can cycle through the questions. Outside of the for loop, we will calculate the player score. So right here. I'll display the word results. Standard output. Results. I'll add a new line. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to steal some of these text decorations. Let's make it look pretty. Something like this would look cool, but not necessary. Standard output correct guesses. Then we will display the current score. Add a new line. Standard output number of questions. That is simply the size of our array. Add a new line. 
then we will calculate a percentage. What percent of the questions did they get right? Score. Score divided by size times 100, then we'll add percent. So at first, this isn't going to work because we're using integer division, but I'll explain that momentarily about typecasting. Uh, so let's run this once. Let's say A, B, C, D. Correct guesses. One, number of questions. Four, uh, our score was 0%, even though we got one right. We'll need to add a cast to the divisor. Let's cast size as a double to hold that decimal portion. Then this should work. A, B, C, D. Correct guesses. One, number of questions. Four, our score was 25%. Now let's go for 100. Remember that the correct answers are C, B, A, B. 1985, Bjorn Strostrup. The language C, but that's option A. Is the earth flat? No. B. Correct guesses. Four, number of questions. Four. Score 100%. Well, yeah, everybody, that is a quiz game you can make in C++. You can impress your friends or have your friends take the quiz. You know, you can change your questions around if you want. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And that is a quiz game written using C++.